hard and fans of constructive critics, I presume you and your beloved ones are hale and healthy. It is activist country Jeff versus a Suresh back with a sheer delight for my 72nd video in process of publication on YouTube today, 30th of August 2020. Topic for discussion today is employed with skills for a successful and fruitful life. A skill is the ability to perform an action with a determined results often with a within a given amount of time, energy, or effort. Skills can often be divided into domain generator and domain specific skills. For example, in the domain of work, some general skills would include time management, team work and leadership, self motivation, and others. Whereas domain specific skills would be used only for a fairly job. Skill usually requires either an environmental stimuli. And situations to assess the level of skill being shown and used. People need a broad range of skills to contribute to the modern economy. The joint is a study and U.S. Department of Labor study showed that through technology, the workplace is changing and identified 16 basic skills that employees must have to be able to change with them. Three broad, broad categories of skills are suggested, and they are technical, human, and conceptual. The first two can be subst substituted with hard and soft skills respectively. Soft skills are a combination of interpersonal people skills, social skills, communication skills, character traits, attitudes, character attributes, career attributes, and uh, emotional intelligence quotient, among others. Employability refers to the attributes of a person that makes a person able to gain and maintain employment. Employability is related to work and the ability to employ, such as the ability to gain initial employment ends uh, interesting Ensuring that key competencies, career advice, and, and an understanding about the world of work are embedded in the education system. The ability to maintain employment and make transitions between jobs and roles within the same organization to meet new job requirements. The ability to obtain new employment if required, that is to be independent in the labor market by being willing and be able to ma manage their own employment transitions between and within organizations. The continuously fulfilling, acquiring, or creating of work with the optimal use of it. Lee Harvey defines employability as the ability of a graduate to get satisfying job, stating that job acquisition should not be prioritized for uh, preparedness for employment to avoid pseudo measure of individual employment. Lee argues that employability is not a set of skills but a range of experience and attributes developed through higher level learning that employment is not a product but a process of learning. Employability continues to develop because of the graduate once employed does not stop learning. Learning should be continuous, thus employment employability by this definition is about learning, not just learning how to learn, but it is about empowering learners as critical reflective citizens. Harvey's definition is important for it emphasizes the employability of graduates, which is similar to our context, but hence able to provide insight about how to measure graduates' employability and what are the differences between graduates and experienced individuals in the labor market. Bernstein argues that employability refers to an individual's perception of his or uh, her possibilities of getting new, equal or better employment. Bernstein's study differentiates employability into two main categories, actual employability, that is subjective employability and perceived employability, which is subjective employment. Several employability definitions have been developed based on or including input from business and industry. The U.S. and the an employability skills framework was developed through a collaboration of employers, educators, human resource associations, and labor market associations. This framework suggests states employability skills are general skills that are necessary for uh, success in the labor market at all employment levels and in all sectors. Uh, after Conducting research with employers across Canada, the Conference Board of Canada released Employability Skills 2000 Plus, which defines employability as skills skills you need to enter, stay in, and progress in the world of work. Sanders and Zuzel found that employers valued personal qualities such as dependability and enthusiasm over subject knowledge and ability to negotiate. Employability creates organizational issues because future competen competency needs may, acquire, may require reorganization in many ways. The increasing automation and use of technology also makes it relevant to discuss not only change but also transformation in tasks for people. The issues are relevant at government level, at corporate level, and for individual. In the past, government had institutions to handle unemployment and employment. In the future, this will be extended to include employability. 
in many parts of the world we box conducts national employability test in us on online tests that in measures candidates business communication critical thinking skills numeracy coding skills for it learning agility and interpersonal skills singapore has created an institute for employability that works on competency upgrades to reduce risk of un- unemployment and increase the competitiveness of the nation and corporations in the employability of the individual employability skills are the soft skills besides domain specific skills also known as hard skills required for gainful employment the employability skills are applying for a job job applications and disabilities writing curriculum wise cv or resume writing a cover letter using linkedin efficiently all the job uh, sites online uh, job sites managing your online presence interview skills presentation in interviews personal development continuous professional development networking skills top tips for effective networking developing commercial awareness transferable skills the importance of mindset lifelong learning critical thinking reflective practice team work communication for many people today a career for life is no longer an option most people do, will hold jobs with a variety of employers and move across different employment sectors through their working working life we therefore all need to be flexible in our working patterns and be pa- prepared to change jobs and our sectors if we believe there are better opportunities elsewhere for this we need to understand that we all have a set of employability skills these are skills that are not specific to one particular career path but are useful across all employment sectors the employers are often looking for skills that go beyond qualifications and experience your education and experience may make you eligible to apply for a job but to be successful in most roles you need to you will need skills that are that you are likely to develop over time some will be specific to the job but the vast majority will be so called soft skills that can be used in any job or employment sectors these soft skills are employability skills that are what makes you employable as a general rule employers are willing to teach someone the job specific skills required such as how to operate a particular piece of machinery or uh, use particular computer packages that are very specific to that role or company however they usually want to see that you already have the other soft skills before hiring because they are much harder to teach being able to apply for a job in the right way and shine in interview in other words get a job is not a key employment skill creating a strong cv or resume creating a good covering letter writing a good covering letter and interviewing well or uh, how you will show off your employability skills to potential employers they are however not generally regarded as soft skills the most important employability skills are in the areas of getting along with and working well with other people such as communication skills and other interpersonal skills being reliable and dependable doing what you say you will by the deadline you are agree and turning up when you are meant to be there and a willingness to learn new skills whether these are job specific or more general the skills required to work well with other people are known as interpersonal skills good interpersonal skills allows you to participate effectively as a member of a team satisfy consumers and clients expectations negotiate make decisions and solve problems with other people and generally work effectively with other employees well honed interpersonal skills allow us to empathize and build rapport with colleagues and clients leading us to a better and less stressful working environment there are range of areas covered by interpersonal skills including communication skills these are skills required to transmit or uh, receive messages accurately to and from other people by speaking or in writing without misunderstanding these skills include verbal communication non verbal communication through body language tone of voice or even emojis listening how we take in and then interpret the verbal and non verbal messages sent by others including in writing emotional intelligence or ability to, to recognize understand and manage your own and others emotions and use them positively to achieve the desired outcomes team working the ability to work with others in groups and teams both formal and informal not everyone is required to work in close knit teams despite the language used in many organizations but the ability to function well in a group is a vital skill in most jobs negotiation persuasion and uh, influencing skills these skills are related to finding mutually agreeable solutions to problems or situations whether by persuading others that your solution is best or finding a better alternate by sharing ideas conflict resolution and mediation are the skills required 
to resolve disagreements in a positive way, whether your own disagreements or those involving other people. These skills are often underrated until there is a problem. Problem solving and decision making are the skills required to work effectively with others to identify, define and solve problems, including making decisions about the best course of action. Of course, it is also possible to make decisions and solve problems on your own, but being required to do so with others adds an extra dimension to the situation. Not all of these areas will be required at all times in every job. However, you can be reasonably certain that you, uh, that you are likely to need them at some point in your career and many of them will be needed every day. If you are not sure whether you need to work on your interpersonal skills or which particular areas to target, you may find it useful to take our uh, interpersonal skills self-assessment to discover your strengths and weaknesses in this area. Take the assessment course. This will allow you to focus on particular areas that need further development, being reliable and dependable. Being reliable and dependable means basically doing what you say that you will do. It is basically what we call as credibility. It also, however, means trustworthiness, credibility. Okay, it also, however, means that being able to look around and see what needs doing and then doing it. This sounds simple, but it requires a wide range of skills, mostly personal rather than interpersonal. First of all, doing what you say you will do, but means being organized and managing your time effectively. You need to know how long things will take and that you have the time to do them to the required standard. You also need to be able to identify what to do first so that if every, anything is missed, it is less important. Being reliable also means being trustworthy and conscientious. For example, this might mean not leaving work too often when things still need doing. Trustworthiness and conscientiousness are both parts of self-regulation or self-employment, self-management, which in turn is an important part of emotional intelligence. Self-regulation means that you have the self-discipline to do things that you may not want to do, but which you know are necessary. People who are self-regulated and reliable take responsibility for their own actions and ensure that they live up to their values. They keep track of deadlines that they deliver to them without needing to be chased. chased up. Being reliable does not, however, mean that you have to do everything yourself. Sometimes it may mean asking for help when you see that you are not going to be able to meet a deadline otherwise. The final element of being reliable is using your initiatives to identify where work needs doing and getting on and doing it. Daniel Goldman, who developed the concept of emotional I intelligence, identified initiative as a key part of self-motivation. He defines it as readiness to act on opportunities. To develop the ability to use your initiative, you may find it useful to work on some techniques for creative thinking, which are also helpful in addressing the final area, a willingness to learn. A willingness to learn means being open to new ideas and exp experiences and always looking to improve your skills and knowledge. Learning itself is experiential. Even in uh, education field, they are using the experiential learning term nowadays. Sometimes this is referred to as personal development, but the term is also used for a more formal process of goal setting, action and reflection. Whether you choose to make your learning process formal or informal, there is no question that the modern world requires all of us to continually update and revise our skills. Change is a constant in most workplaces and the most valuable employees are those who embrace personal change and recognize that it offers more opportunities than threats. Employees gradually generally want people who are resilient, adaptable and flexible, another key part of self-regulation and emotional, emotional intelligence, expendable. Main dimensions of employability skills are computation skills, management skills, critical thinking skills, enterprise and entrepreneurial skills, interpersonal skills, communication skills and analytical skills. Interpersonal skills, attributes are ability to work and contribute to the group team, the ability to understand other people's problems, emotions, concerns and feelings related to work, the ability to negotiate with subordinates or colleagues, the ability to encourage and motivate others, the ability to network, the ability to work in a diverse environment, the ability to deal with superiors, the ability to manage others, attributes of computing skills, are the level of keyboard competency, the ability to use word processing software, the ability to use statistical software package, the ability to deliver effective presentations using computer software, the ability to use database programs for data management, the ability to use spreadsheets for data analysis, the ability to search and manage relevant information from other sources, 
attributes of enterprise and entrepreneurial skills are ability to explore and identify business opportunities ability to develop a business plan ability to develop business opportunities ability to capitalize on business opportunities ability to be self employed attributes of communication skills ability to listen attentively and give appropriate feedback ability to negotiate and reach consensus ability to write effectively in the local language ability to write effectively in english ability to write effectively in other languages required ability to speak fluently in the local language ability to speak fluently in english ability to speak fluently in other languages required ability to communicate formally and informally with the people from different backgrounds ability to effectively deliver presentations in a case or a project ability to express his or her new own ideas clearly effectively and with confidence attributes of thinking skills ability to recognize and analyze problems ability to explain analyze and educate evaluate data and information ability to generate creative ideas ability to think critically ability to learn and apply new knowledge skills ability to understand statistical and numerical data ability to understand statistical okay ability to make logical conclusions by analyzing relevant data attributes of management skills uh, ability to lead a project ability to supervise group members ability to optimize the use of resources good time management ability to plan coordinate and uh, organize a project ability to monitor group members to achieve targets ability to monitor group members to, uh, okay ability to plan and implement an action plan ability to work under pressure ability to work independently ability to deliver expected results skills for the world of work basic foundation basic foundation and the most elemental foundational foundation skills include literacy and uh, numeracy skills necessary for getting work that can pay enough to meet daily needs these skills are also a prerequisite for uh, continuing in education and training and for acquiring transferable and technical and vocational skills that enhance the prospect of getting good jobs vocational or technical specialized skills knowledge or know how needed to perform specific duties or tasks professional personal the ability to learn and adapt read write and compute competently listen and communicate effectively think creatively solve problems independently manage oneself at work interact with coworkers working in teams or groups handle basic technology lead effectively as well as follow supervision core employment skills built upon the strength and strengthen those developed through basic education such as reading and writing the technical skills needed to perform specific duties such as nursing accounting using technology or driving a forklift and professional personal attributes such as honesty reliability punctuality attendance and loyalty core work skills enable individuals to constantly acquire and apply new skills and knowledge they are also critical to lifelong learning learning to learn is about acquiring that knowledge skills attitudes and aptitudes which enable individuals to set plan and reach their own learning goals and become independent autonomous learners it allows young people to meet the demands of lifelong learning yeah learning should be lifelong there is no end to it it is still death learning should be continuous regular it implies not only what individuals gain gain certain skills but also that they become self directed learners and rely on their own learning capacity therefore learning to learn strategies are about learning what you know learning what you do not know and learning what to do about it these skills will enable one to take more responsibility for his or her own learning spend one's time effectively and stay on task select the best approach for each task provide the knowledge and skills needed to begin follow through and complete the tasks access to a wide variety of content and reference materials and give the confidence to know when and how to ask for help learning to learn includes knowledge of study strategies practice and attitudes which are interrelated youth will not acquire knowledge or information retrieval or effective reading strategies if they are not motivated to learn basic that motivation should be there it is inbuilt they cannot develop positive attitudes towards lifelong learning or become self directed learners the self motivation is essential if they do not perceive themselves as capable of succeeding in learning tasks skills and habits are important since developing better learning strategies takes time and requires training opportunities companies 
are looking for knowledge workers who take responsibility for the whole professional development. Lifelong learning is a must for workers. It is a key element to be to be successful. Teamwork is all about being able to operate smoothly and efficiently within a group. Doing this draws a number of other skills that ability to encourage and inspire other team members to perform better. With the ability to compromise and ignore one's own, own ego and communication and other interpersonal skills such as negotiation, influence, advising and interpreting. Teamwork is a high priority for, for most employers. Being able to work well with colleagues is essential. Employers, therefore, one cannot work in isolation. Employers, therefore, are looking for individuals who can bring different strengths to team, monitoring or evaluating progress, urging the team on when needed, contributing innovative new ideas. Teamwork skills include the ability to make decisions, including specifying goals and constraints, construct risks, and generate and evaluate our alternates. It requires cooperation and leadership, including organizing groups to accomplish a purpose, helping others to do things their way, the ability to choose appropriate leadership style, understanding personal strength, and teaching others new skills. Equally, it is about following orders and respecting leadership and knowing how to communicate concerns and position. In order to succeed in the workplace and in life, generally, individuals need to be able to evaluate information or situations, break them down into the key components, consider various ways of approaching and resolving them, and decide which is the most appropriate. These problem-solving skills include recognizing long-term consequences of solutions to problems and probing, devising, implementing and evaluating a plan of action for problem resolution. Employers want workers who will take the personal responsibility to make sure targets are met, who can see that there might be a way, better way of doing something and who are prepared to research and implement things. People who do not panic or give up when things go wrong, but who will seek a way around the problem. Developing the core employability skills and uh, ensuring lifelong learning for all presents a major challenges for education and training system. It is crucial to ensure quality basic education, change learning practices to equip people for work with a more emphasis on learning by doing, yeah, practice. We learn a lot of things by doing. You know, experience is the best teacher. Okay, working in teams and thinking creatively and developing reliable and efficient assessment methods so the skills developed are recognized by employers. Good quality primary and secondary education complemented by relevant vocational training and skills development opportunities prepare future generations for their productive lives, endowing them with the core skills that enable them to continue learning. There are inevitably a wide range of skills that could be useful to employers. Each of us also have our own personal range of skills and we therefore can each make a unique contribution to any organization. Learning to recognize and use your skills appropriately is essential and open mind and a willingness to embrace new ideas is probably one of the most useful attributes you can bring to any organization. Debates, discussion on topics like this can go on forever. Anyway, let me call it the day. We'll meet again real soon. Some of the statements views expressed are purely mine, based on limited knowledge gained over six decades. Always watch these videos with a closed caption for, for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation billion times so far. I know I rushed through to complete the presentation within 20 minutes max. It's a time limit. I accept myself to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. I, I, know, I know nowadays I exceed this time limit since I make honest attempts to cover the selected topic more elaborately, including so many intricate details, fine details, offering a wide variety of sources in particular Wikipedia, quite extensively besides articles and books published recently. Besides, of course, I add my own salt and pepper and masala based on my personal experience so far in my life and also in future. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life, God alone can put a stop to natural or unnatural events, maybe by one cyber or events like the pandemics which may lead to apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of this. All the best, resting, peace and harmony.